Welcome to the Southpaw Sessions. I'm Joe Levy, a contributing editor at Rolling Stone and also a contributor to magazines like Details, where I wrote this month's Jake Gyllenhaal cover story. The occasion was Southpaw. These gentlemen need no introduction. Jake Gyllenhaal, Eminem, executive producer of the Southpaw soundtrack and Jake, star of the movie. Let's talk about where this movie started. Kurt Sutter, the creator of Sons of Anarchy, wrote the script originally for you with your life story in mind. And tell me, how'd that script first come to you? The original idea was for me to be in the movie. You know, something that would, would, would be similar to my life story, but I don't know, maybe metaphorically through boxing, you know, coming up or something, you know. And the script had been in development for quite some time and Kurt Sutter got on board. And once we got the script, you know, it was incredible. But and this it, was in 2010? Yeah, it had been in, in the works for a while. And, and by the time the script had got to a place where everybody felt comfortable with it, the timing really just wasn't right for me to, to be able to, to do it and to be able to make that, that commitment. And the, the story of the movie is the story of Billy Hope, who Jake eventually came on board and portrayed, uh, a southpaw boxer, uh, developed with you in mind. You're a lefty, as you say, and phenomenal. You write with the left. Uh, and he loses everything. And, and what about that? He loses his family, he loses his, his title. What about that resonated with you? I mean, I, just, I, I love stories like that, you know, comeback stories. That's one of the reasons that it, it, it appealed to me, you know, in the, in the first place, was just the idea of it, um, you know, and based off just, just, just me not being able, the fact that I wasn't able to do it, I just felt like this script is so good, like I wanna be involved. If I can't be involved in the movie, I want something to do with it, you know? If I can pr produce music for the soundtrack or whatever happens, I just feel like I wanna be involved. And seeing the movie, and how Jake did it, it's just, it's incredible. So I'm super excited just to be a part of it, you know, and what a job that everybody did. Antoine, the way he did it and, and put it together, and everybody who, Forrest, everybody who's in this movie is killing their roles, so. And Antoine is <clears throat> Antoine Fuqua, the director. Jake, mm -hmm. tell me how you first came to meet with Antoine about this project. Uh, I had met with Antoine like five years before and we had like a lunch meeting it was very Hollywood and uh, he told me he saw something in me that no one had seen before and I was like oh gee okay and I thought it was kind of bullshit, to be honest and then a year maybe four years later we had another meeting about this and he said I told you five years ago I saw something in you that and I want to bring it out of you and and you know and I was like oh that's funny I thought maybe that was that was bullshit. And he was like, no, no, this is for real. And uh, I read the script and I thought it was amazing. And I thought the idea of this father-daughter story, which is essentially the thing that really drew me to it, um, you know, was so moving. And Antoine said to me, you know, I want to shoot these fight sequences like real fights. I want there to be HBO cameramen there filming it. I want Roy Jones Jr. and Jim Lampley there. I want Tony Weeks there as a ref. I want the whole thing to feel real. So. Uh, do you know how to box? And I was like, um, no, but I can learn, <laughs> you know. And 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 so I so I, you know, he's like, all right, well, then you have to commit. And I said, I'm I'm in. 